Oh yeah, ladies, what up? Today we're taking a look at the Think Station P330. Let's take a look at this bad boy. All right, looky, looky. All the stuff you expect to get. Let's go into a IBM Model M keyboard here that we can get. And let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. But we can turn this if we pull it out. I'm pretty sure that's not how you're supposed to do it. Anyways, we got the little profile. It's DVD. Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. USB, of course. And the bolt. Interesting, it'll give you a headset. They give you two of those. Things. Oh. This is why we can't have nice things, Mr. Brown. Alright, the back looks pretty well exactly like we would expect, nothing too fancy, we got the uh, we got the advanced graphics card in there, which honestly I completely forget what it is, it'll be a Quattro something or other, because we are doing work with workstations. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we got our opener, it looks like we got a P1000 in there, P1000, Terminator, eh? T1000. Um, you know, one of those kinds of cases are going to pop off the front where we can have a true look inside. But let me see what I can see. Looks like we got three, four spaces, three spaces for RAM. Could you imagine four spaces for RAM? 16 gigs in there. And uh, room for dual cards. A hard drive will be right back there. You see that uh, heat sink is going to be right back there. Let me get this thing on and open and we'll take a good look. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's that time you've been waiting for. Time to run the benchmark. Everything's all loaded up. I use performance test 9.0. Tests make tests several minutes. And I'm not going to make you watch uh, all this stuff. I'm going to just go to the end basically. Pass mark. DC mark. This is a very good program that I like to use for this stuff. So let's see how she goes. Alright, look at those fighters go. Yeah, so on this one, the faster your cards are, the faster everything will go around these jets. The jets will move faster. Next up, we got the tree test, and just as I was hoping, this thing's pretty good. On a poorer system, when you're zooming away from the trees and into other ones, it slows down quite a bit, but I'm not noticing any of that here, which is good, because this is supposed to be a workstation, and I'm expecting uh, good things out of it, ultimately. A jellyfish test. Oh, that's smooth. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I gotta say, it's been a while since I've seen something run that nice on here. Oh shoot, I should have the information at the top left here for you too. Man, that's beautiful. Oh gee. Oh, sorry. Just don't want to give any of you guys uh, 
you know. <laughs> All right, so here we have the basics. Not a bad score, 6,000, uh, 6,402. There's the CPU. So I'm liking what I see, liking what I experience. Good stuff, good stuff. Anyways, let's take one more look on the inside. Let me just uh, front off this beast. This front isn't always the easiest to work with. I got the front off the beast, that's what she looks like, a little itty bitty CD-ROM drive. Now this is where you keep your hard drive if you actually uh, had a hard drive. The the medium two cards right here. Interesting, you always put a heat sink on it. It's not, definitely not the first heat sink I've ever seen. I almost wonder why they, well, it's gotta be too hot, but seriously, and it didn't know those things really needed a heat sink. Um, I'm gonna st stack around places for more. Oh, don't put your finger in there. P100, I probably shouldn't be putting my hands in here at all. And let's have a look at the back. At the back, we have cereal. People actually use cereal, don't act like they don't. And two display, two USB, three, four, five, six USB in total. And that's what we got, ladies and gentlemen. All in all, pretty good system, pretty solid system. Would buy, like and subscribe if you like the stuff, always appreciate it folks, and like always, take care of each other. Don't be scamming each other. <laughs>